We are less than an hour away from that massive Powerball drawing. 1.5 billion up for grabs. And the state's going to get a really nice payday, too. News 8's Bob Wilson asked folks in Waterbury what they think Connecticut should, should do with all that money generated for the state's general fund. Of course, thanks to all those Powerball ticket sales. He joins us now live from Hartford with the answers. I bet you got an earful tonight there, Bob. Well, yes. Yeah, yeah. Number one thing was tax breaks. How about a tax break for the people? However, you know, we always ask people, what would you do with a billion dollars, 1.5 billion? And they say buy an island or a small country or whatever they would do with it. Well, now it's time to find out what the state might do with it, as they will be getting more than $12 million from this jackpot alone. $1,500,000,000 on the line. I'm going store to store. I'm try I've got a new philosophy, and I'm going to break it tonight. Rich Russo is hitting dozens of stores, buying one ticket at a time. Others buying them all here at a convenience store in Waterbury, hoping to have that $1 billion in their bank account to start off the new year. I give some to my kids, you know, and I get out, I get out of Dodge. <laughs> no one will be able to find you in your billion. No, sir. I, I close all my phone numbers down and just disappear. Well, here in Waterbury, they've already sold a $100,000 winner at 10 o'clock. All bets are off, the machines are shut down, the drawing happens, a lot of people having Powerball fever. However, the state getting a little piece of the action as well. Since this pot began to grow on November 7th, the state of Connecticut will put $12.6 million into the general fund for lawmakers to use as they see fit. And the state will continue to reap the rewards as the rules have changed. Powerball has added 50 more numbers to the drawing to make it more difficult to win the big pot, diminishing your odds from one in about 175 million to one in about 292 million. What should the state do with the money? Give it to the poor. Give people a tax break and put it into education. So many things they could do with it. To start right out here, finish these highways. The roads around here need to be finished, finally. I'm 48 years old and I'm still driving on these roads. There's always construction. Now, it'll be interesting to see because that $12.6 million was based on last Sunday. It will be higher, and especially if there is no winner, well, the pot continues to grow, and the state of Connecticut will also continue to add money to that general fund. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Hartford, News 8.